There are only blue pens, green pens and red pens in a box. The ratio of the number of blue pens to the number of green pens is 2 to 5. The ratio of the number of green pens to the number of red pens is 4 to 1. There are less than 100 pens in the box. Work out the greatest possible number of red pens in the box. So the first thing we can do is write out these two ratios in a more visual form. So the ratio of the number of blue pens to the number of green pens is 2 to 5. And then the ratio of the number of green pens to the number of red pens is 4 to 1. Now as we can see, both of these ratios contain the colour green. So what we can do is we can combine these two ratios. But in order to do this we'll need the number of green pens to be the same. So the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. So we can multiply this ratio by 4 and multiply this ratio by 5. So 2 multiplied by 4 gives us 8 and 5 multiplied by 4 gives us 20. And then 4 multiplied by 5 gives us 20 and 1 multiplied by 5 gives us 5. And what this means is the ratio of blue to green to red pens is 8 to 20 to 5. So we've been told in the question there are less than 100 pens in the box. So we want to work out what the maximum number of pens we can put in the box with this ratio. So what we can do, we can add these three values together and 8 plus 20 plus 5 gives us 33. So we want to work out how many lots of 33 we can fit into 100. So 3 multiplied by 33 gives us 99. And if we added another 33 pens, this would then be over 100. So what this tells us is that 3 lots of this ratio will fit into the box. So what we need to do is we need to multiply this ratio by 3. So 8 multiplied by 3 is 24, 20 multiplied by 3 is 60, and then 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. And the ratio we'll want to look at is the third ratio here. And the value we want to look at is this end value here, as this is the number of red pens. So this tells us that 15 red pens will be in the box. Now this question's worth three marks. We'll get our first mark for putting the two ratios in a form so that we are able to combine them. We'll get our second mark for combining the ratios and our third mark for the correct answer.